Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to give you the result of the Herburn City Landscape Challenge and some tips and tricks. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I am a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, France, but I am still in the USA. And I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw files of all my past episodes, over hundreds of raw files, free Photoshop actions, presets, all for free. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter. Click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I showed you how to replace a sky on a night photo. This is the final result. It's also basically a basic tutorial on Photoshop for people which are not very familiar with masking, layers, and you know blending modes. This week, it's not a tutorial, but it's a result of the challenge on Herbert Landscape. There is a winner and there is some uh, featured photographers that I want to talk to you about and some tips and tricks based on photo critiques. So let's go. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and so welcome to this uh, result of my Herbert Landscape Challenge from January 22. So uh, we have uh, a winner and a few special mentions that I want to talk about. Um, the winner is, let's go straight to the winner with 787 likes, my friend Dr. Marcus. And uh, with this photo, uh, it is not my favorite photo, but he's got he wants he got the most like on Facebook. Uh, Dr. Marcus, let me present him to you a little bit. is very passionate about photos. He has he's from Romania. He's a doctor, and he's really like shooting a lot. He's sending me photos very often. He's really into it. He's got uh, uh, he's got lake and rivers. Uh, I love some of his shots. I love this shot. He's got very colorful photos. He uses the technique of luminosity mask to do his blending. He's got some really cool uh, mountain. Mike, you can find his website on the photo Marcus, photo marcuscom The link will be on the, on the YouTube video. Uh, sunsets, uh, architecture, portraits. And now he has a new section called Learn. He even does tutorials which are in Romania, but subtitled in English. You can check out his work. You can buy his photos too. Uh, he's really, really passionate about photos. So that's our winner. Now, I want to give a, a few special mentions. We have uh, quite some entries, uh, a few special mentions of photos that I really loved. And um, for example, my first special mention is going to go to this photo, Dubai rooftop. Now, I really like this photo. It's, uh, it's actually the person who did it uh, call, is called Stefan Schaefer. He's a photographer from Germany. And this is the second time he wins one of my challenge. The guy is just an amazing photographer. And I just I just love the way this, you know, the way this is composed. I mean, the lights are amazing and I love Dubai shots. You know, it's very wide angle. It's very round and square. There's some something about this photo uh, by the composition that I find very, very powerful. And so uh, that's a special mention. So let me show you uh, Stefan. Webs He's got an amazing website called Stefan Schaefer website. Uh, he has amazing photos. That's one of his photos. The guy is really, really very good. Uh, check out his work at schaeferphotography.de and um, you will find a link again under the video. Okay, next, uh, there was another special mention I wanted to do on, on another photo and then I'm going to do some critiques after that uh, to eventually help people, uh, you know, just do better photos if I can. Uh, let me see, there was one photo that I really love and that's this one. Uh, this is a photo from uh, uh, taken close to Dubai. This one is, it doesn't have the, I mean, the only critique I have for it is the light is kind of boring, but uh, yeah, because the sunset is not amazing and probably with an, a better sunset, you would have gotten a better result. But I think the, you know, this, this temple or mosque with the city in the background makes such a contrast, you know, the way it's led and everything else, I don't know. I just, you know, when I was going through, I had a lot of emotion for this photo and there's a lot of amazing photographers in Dubai. The gentleman's name is called Mustafa Hawaji Photography. That's his website, as his Facebook page. And uh, he's a great photographer from, uh, I believe, the area of Dubai. So very well done. And I will offer you also a course. Uh, so that was my second mention. And there's a, a third mention I want to give another photo that I really like. And it is this one. And it's funny because before I picked the photos, I did not know, you know, there's not the name of the people. 
Uh, this one is from uh, my friend Stephen Brenner, which I met in New York last week. We had the dinner together and went shooting. It's a classic shot of the Empire State Building, but I don't know. There's something about that photo, the way the sun is, uh, the way it's composed, the way that we can go deep into the street. It just reminds me of a photo that Peter Leake is selling for a lot of money in his galleries, uh, and which is amazing. I just had a lot of emotion. I was just in New York. I was really sad that I didn't get that photo. So you can meet Stefan Berner on his 500px page. He's got amazing photos from New York and uh, just a very nice guy, which I met last week. You can check out his work. The link will also be on the YouTube page and on the newsletter that's going over to 50,000 photographers around the world. So that's kind of cool. Okay, now back to the competition and let's talk, let's talk some critiques. Now, before I start, I just want to make sure that this are, what I'm about to tell you is my viewpoint. I might be completely wrong. Every being is unique. This is my taste. And you know, you know, I'm crazy about magenta. I'm crazy about a few things. So, you know, some people just hate my taste and I understand that, you know, everybody's unique. Everybody, you know, some people just like colorful stuff. So anyways, so please, I hope I'm not going to hurt anyone. Uh, this is something I, I do. Um, I remember like just to give you, I'm going to start off with this photo, for example, which I find is really nice. And actually in the office, a lot of people like that photo. That's I believe is from Copenhagen because I've been there doing photos and uh, a very nice little airport, uh, airport um, port there. And uh, I love the photo. Honestly, it's really cool. For me, the only thing that's missing is that the skies are a, a little bit boring. And I remember like, you know, there's not much detail in the sky. And I think just a little bit more detail would have been more interesting. And when I started photography, let me just tell you this little story. I I, um, I went and took my camera and I went to shoot Paris during the night. I started like, I think it was in the spring. I started right around sunset and I went to two o'clock in the morning shooting Paris. And Paris looks amazing in the night with the eye. However, when you shoot Paris during the night, like after the sunset, you know, you get this to a point where there is no more detail in the sky. It's just black or, you know, blue or pretty black. And so I was really happy with the photo. So I showed them to a professional photographer that was you know, making a good living as a photographer. And he was like, he says, yeah, but why didn't you shoot at the golden hour or the blue hour? That same photo would have been 10 times more amazing. And I said, what, what do you mean? You know, uh, and yeah, he says, you know, if you try to shoot your photos at blue hour or golden hour, right after sunset, you will get more details, more interesting sky than just a pure black sky. And uh, but then I told him, yeah, but the problem is that then you cannot do much photos because you can only shoot, you know, the nice sky sometimes only lasts 10, 20 minutes, an hour maybe. And that means you can only do a couple of photos per day. He says, yeah, but that's what it takes to be a photographer. You know, it's uh, if you start at eight o'clock and you go to midnight, you know, you will get lots of photos, but they will all have the same sky and it's not always the best. You know, there are some exceptions. Sometimes when the moon is high and you have a lot of clouds, you can get amazing night sky, but it's not like last night we had this in Los Angeles, it was very nice. But most of the time we have a sky like this. So I like this photo, but I think it's just a bit too dark and it's missing some details in the sky. Uh, and that was the number two. Now, okay, so I hope I didn't offend anybody. Uh, let's talk about this photo. I really like this photo. The only thing that I don't like about it is um, there is a bit of clarity in the sky, which I think is not needed because I think making a more smooth sky would have made it more interesting. Uh, the light is very nice, but the subject is a bit boring to me. You know, that building is not super, these buildings are not super nice, you know. So the subject, the light is good, the composition is good, but the subject is a bit boring and there's a bit too much clarity in the sky. Okay, coming to this one, that's a winner, our friend Stefan. Oh, this is Vegas. Now this one, I know it's magenta and I know I'm a big, huge fan of magenta, but um, I don't know. This one I think was taken a bit, I mean, that's, and I'm gonna give you a, uh, a little tip on this that Matt Kloskowski gave to me one day. Uh, this same photo would have been amazing if he would have taken this photo plus another one half an hour, an hour before. Why? And on a tripod and not moving and then mix both sky. Why is that? Because the problem with cityscape is that it's again a bit the same problem we had on the first photo is usually the sky is super nice around the golden hour or the sunset. But the problem is that during the golden hour and sunset, the city itself, you know, is not lighter. People did not turn on all their lights. So you don't have this sort of like city by night look. However, if you wait an hour more, you come to this point where the, the, the city is really nice. 
you know, nice light, but the sky is getting boring. So if you take two photos, you have to be patient because you have to put your camera on a tripod and take two photos and mix them both, you know, in about an hour time. But you would get a, a more interesting photo of Vegas. I mean, the subject is nice, but I find this first part a bit boring. Um, this for me is um, is cool, but the light is not nice enough. The uh, you know the water is still key. Uh, it's it's desaturated, and I don't think it's a good idea. And again, mesdames et messieurs, this is my viewpoint. Please don't be offended. But this is my rule. If I'm going to shoot a sunset uh, and this got a bit of red and blue, I'm going to make it red and blue, you know, or I'm going to go black and white, but I'm not going to go halfway. So I think that's a bit of a mistake. The composition is nice. You know, one third of water, two third of sky. That's a good idea. But I think it's lacking of saturation. This is from my friend, my friend, uh, Anthony Field from New York. Amazing guy. I also met him last week. Uh, he shot this. We were at the exact same spot together very long exposure so he's got an amazing sky i think this photo is perfect the only thing i told him uh was like i didn't like the idea that he had rocks in the foreground i think that was like too much things going on i would have moved one more meter but you know what after looking at it and looking at it i think this photo is really cool so uh, another special mention to anthony field amazing amazing guy that i made in uh, in new york last week okay this is las vegas um interesting However, black sky again, and this is kind of boring. This is like, this is distracting to me. You know, that escalator, I would have taken the same photo with more details in the sky. I love the lone exposure with the cart on the, on, the, on the strip. That's a great idea. Okay, now let me jump to another photos, to some other photos I don't want to talk to you about. Uh, this one, this one I think is interesting. Uh, crazy color saturated, but believe me, people love this type of photography. The, the lights is amazing. It's a bit too much, but I am a too much guy. And so I kind of like it. I don't know. There's something about that photo that I really like. This Kansas City planta light. Um, that's all I wanted to say, really. I like that photo. Uh, okay. Let's talk about some... Okay, night lights again. For me, this is... Um, there's too much green in the yellows. One of the problems is when you, when you uh, try to take a photo at night... Usually, why do I add magenta? I add magenta because it's going to counter the green. And this photo has too much green in the yellow. So that's what you get from tungsten. So that boring sky and boring foreground. You know, like you can see there's some grass there. And uh, so for me, the same photo with a more interesting background, foreground and more interesting sky could have maybe worked. So again, this one, I love this one. The only problem is that there is tourists there and uh, the same photo with other tourists would have been amazing. Florence is such a beautiful city. I've never been to, but I've seen so many photos. I was in Venice and uh, I mean, I kind of like with the people, but for me, without the people, it would be like a fine art photography. With the people, it's a postal card. Um, that's just my viewpoint. Amazing light, amazing subject, nice composition. I find that this is maybe a bit too big. Maybe I would have made this one a bit smaller, moved one meter on the left. And then I would do like, a, tell everybody there is some nice chocolate downstairs. So everybody would go eat chocolate and not, you know, stand in my way, but, or get my system to get everybody to move or do some uh, tourist uh, erasing techniques. There's many around, which are interesting, but I know in these places it's very hard, but I wanted to talk about this one. Oh, this one I love also, Singapore skyline. Really, this one I love a lot because uh, it's very strong. The sky is, is like, that's the blue hour. That's what I'm talking about. The, he made it in a way that you had an interesting sky and still all the city lights on. And so that's the blue hour that's coming after sunset. So the sun is already behind the horizon. All the cities are light. And because he was shooting toward the sun, we still have some details in the sky. And that's a good idea. If you want to shoot by night, right after sunset, try to find out where the west is where the sun went and shoot there you will get detail in the sky if you go be if you look behind you on the east you will see no details okay the only thing i would say is that this building can i would have cropped the photo right here the fact that this building is cut in half kind of bothers me but that's to be picky that's a very nice photo too okay um okay i want to talk about this one this is from paris Paris, Paris, this is a long exposure photography. Now, for me, <laughs> this photo is too much. Uh, it's a, like the color cast from the ND filter is very present. So we have a sort of a 
brown look to it. That's what I don't like so much, so much sometimes about ND filters. And um, the fact that it's very contrasty, I'm sure that this photo, I would love to try retouching this photo into a very light, puffy fashion, not such a strong contrast because, you know, there's too much black in the clouds. It's just a, too much black, you know. Clouds are not black. Clouds are nice when they are a bit, you know, a bit lighter, a bit like, you know, this uh, photo from Anthony Field where he used the same technique, but the, the there is no black in, in the clouds. Uh, so yeah, the blacks went, you know, too strong on this one. I would make the sky a lot. It could be interesting. From Then from a message viewpoint, um, it's kind of cool. Maybe this is a bit bothering me. This is like, okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure I would love to have the, I would love to have the raw file on this one and see what I could do with it. Maybe I could not do better. Maybe I could. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about this one. This one has a great idea, but the problem is that the, the chain is for me way too present. The whole idea of having a chain as a foreground is a great idea. And I try to do that many times, but I always have this problem with you. you, you the chain is just too important. However, the, the, everything is nice about this photo, except again, look at this. There's too much green in the yellows. Don't hesitate to add a bit of magenta just to get, not to have, to have magenta, but to get rid of that toxin green. Okay, I hope that can help. Okay, uh, I want to talk about this photo. Interesting photo, but I'm sorry to say boring light. You know, I like the way it is, you know, it's very exotic. Uh, but you know, boring light. I remember Scott Cabby was telling me, he said, whatever place you find, whatever place you find, it will always be nicer in sunrise and sunsets. Okay. I want to talk about this one. I love how he shot this. You see, I think he shot this with like a 200 millimeter or something because he compressed Manhattan against the Liberty statue. And, and so they look very close to each other. I don't know. I like the, 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 the I like the, the composition. I like the subject. I don't like the colors. I don't like the colors and I don't like the light. Uh, this with some amazing clouds could be really amazing because the subject is, and that's when you, I, on, I mean, the subject is so amazing that I would, I would do a sky replacement on this one personally. Okay. I want to talk to you about, Oh, this one, Chicago, 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 this one, Again, just, you know, just to mention, explain like he shot toward the sun. So he had details on, on, uh, and the sun was just behind the horizon. So we still have all the city lights on and we have details in the sky. Uh, however, I don't like the foreground. The problem with landscape is you have to watch for three things. Foreground, middle ground, background. Foreground is boring. Middle ground is amazing. Background is amazing. But you need all three to make a great photo. Okay. So, uh, okay, this one I really liked also, this one. Now, this one is a bit too colorful somehow, but the, I mean, the light is nice. The fact that there's only one man, you know, with the leading lines everywhere. I don't know, there's something special about that photo that I really like. I can tell he did some nice intelligence dodge and burning. Uh, I don't know. I had emotions when I saw that photo. I felt like uh, I wanted to travel again. Life was beautiful again. Okay, this one again, just to compare with all these other blue hour, the Coliseum in Rome, Italy. I was there a couple of months ago. Black sky, boring. Same photo taken two hours before would have been a lot more amazing. Uh, okay, this one. Niagara Skyfall. Now I love, I want to go to the Niagara. Now this one, there is, a, there is some details in the sky, but no clouds and again, too contrasty. You see, when you shoot at night, the contrast that's already there is amazing. You have a lot of contrast. So you have to be kind of careful about the contrast because there is too much black going on on this photo. Like, you know, we don't have any details in the black. And I know he, he did a long exposure. The problem is that, I don't know if he added the moon there, if it was really there. If it was really there, that's crazy. Uh, but um, I don't know if it's a montage or composite. Anyways, it's just too much. You know, um, too much black that you got to watch out on your blacks and your contrast to make not them too strong. Um, there was another photo I wanted. Oh, this one has got a great feeling about it. I don't know. There's something. I know it's not a sunset. I know it's not a sunrise, but it's very low, like from a compositing viewpoint and a light viewpoint. It's actually pretty nice. So very well done to uh, whoever took that photo. Uh, okay. 
Um, we're going to change so that people can put their name under each photo because and their website so I can promote everybody. Um, oh, this one I really like from Turkey. I believe this is from Turkey because I remember Jean-Michel Bert's work on Turkey. This is great. Great composition. Amazing sky. The only critique I have on this one thing, it's a bit too dark here on top because uh, it looks a bit unnatural. But, it, you know, the dodge and burning is really nice. Uh, I don't know. I just like love that photo. I love this photo. Okay, uh, I want to talk about. I want to talk about. I want to talk about another photo before I end off this photo critique. Um, yeah, this is the memorial. I tried to shoot this. This is so hard to shoot. Okay. Hmm. Tower Bridge Sunrise. Let's talk about this one. Andrew Thomas here. He put his name on. That's smart. Uh, amazing light. A bit too much. That's too much saturated. And that's and that's saying a lot because you know how much I like saturation. Uh, it's a bit too much saturated for me, and um, actually that boat distracts me. The same photo with a bit less saturation than without that boat, I think would have been uh, pretty amazing because I love that sunset. Maybe if I don't know if it's a real sunset or not, but uh, interesting uh, sunset. Um, <laughs> okay. I want to talk about this one. Now, that's a classic shark from Hong Kong. The Hong Kong skyline. I've seen this photo over and over again. And this one is really cool. But I've seen some where there's a bit more detail on what's going on here in the foreground. And I find them more powerful and a bit more uh, um, clouds. You know, it's again, I think this was, was taken a bit too late. Like probably could have been a bit more interesting an hour before. You know, land, urban landscape is really about timing. And that's pretty much it, what I want to tell you guys. Uh, I think there was, okay, this one I want to talk about. Uh, I'm just giving you tips, you know, from my viewpoint. And believe me, all these mistakes I made. Now, on this photo, I know very well where he took this. It's from the top of the stairs of Montmartre by the Sacré-Cœur. Beautiful place. You have an amazing view in Paris. But again, it's too much HDR. Uh, sky is too dark. Uh, there's too much black in the skies. And the foreground, and that's the problem with winter, the foreground, you've got these dead trees, and these dead trees, they really uh, have um, high frequency texture. So it's kind of like, for me, it hurts the eyes. I would have done this one maybe, you know, looking, I mean, the god rays are amazing, but, you know, clouds are very, are not often black or don't have that much black. So it just looks very unnatural to me. And voila. Uh, okay, maybe this one. Backhead. Okay, this one, look at this. Foreground, middle ground, background. This one is great. Composition is interesting. I think it, I don't know whether he talk, I talk this. It looks like Mexico to me, but I might be wrong. Uh, the thing I love, you know, the fog is amazing. The only thing that's missing on this one is light. The colors, I have this rule in life. If colors are not amazing, I go black and white. I would try to do a nice fine art black and white with this photo. Or I would add more color, but like this, it's lacking something. Voila. Okay, I, I hope I did not offend anybody. I hope you learned a couple of tricks. This is, again, my viewpoints. I think it's very delicate to critic other people's work. And I try to be honest as I can. There's some photos I really like. There's some photos I really don't like. Or there are things that can be improved about it. Uh, and I will see you for another challenge. And thank you very much, guys, to be there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being there. If you have any ideas of tutorials you want me to do, just... Leave me a comment in the YouTube channel and I'll look at it and I will see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.